Has it ever happened to you that you are having a nightmare, then the feeling and the anguish are so strong that suddenly you realize that it's just a bad dream? Or during waking hours you are trying to solve a problem, it used to happen to me with mad at school, and the desire to solve the problem was so strong that I dreamt how to solve the problem and even getting the right answer? Well, those can be considered lucid dreaming and quite a lot of research in psychology already supports and validates these experiences and currently they are being explored even for healing conditions such as depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder and much more. Lucid dreaming is primarily a mechanism that takes place in the prefrontal cortex of the brain and it occurs when the dreamer is aware that they are dreaming while in a dream state. Like normal dreams, lucid dreaming occurs during REM sleep, which is characterized by rapid eye movement, lack of muscle tone in the body, and the tendency to dream. But why do we dream? The neuroscientist Mark Bloomberg from the University of Iowa, USA, has been investigating this for a long time and when he carried out experiments on baby rats, he realized that even after removing the cortex where dreams were believed to originate, the movements characteristic of deep sleep were still present. That is to say, first, the baby made a movement with its body and then the brain responded. According to these findings, the brain would use sleep to learn about the body. You wouldn't think that the body is something a brain needs to learn, but we are not born with maps of our bodies, besides, because our bodies change since the day we are born, every day. In my reflections, I, it occurs to me that if we have an illness or an injury during sleep, that part of the body that is affected can somehow show the brain how to deal with it, and lucid dreaming would be a valuable tool for that. But let's get to know some benefits of lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming helps you develop greater awareness. Sometimes during waking hours and with all the things that we must deal at the same time, it is difficult to devote enough time and attention to an issue, thought or emotion that may be troubling us. For me, it gives me the possibility to address situations that I'm experiencing during waking hours but from a different perspective. Lucid dreaming also allows you to explore broader and deeper aspects of your mind. As Andrew Holesek, a writer and guide on meditation, lucid dreaming and dream yoga explains, by waking up in your dream you can explore the power of your mind to change the dream you are having and eventually your world. To transform bad emotional states into better ones, to form states of mind that allow you to function in a more balanced and harmonious way. Lucid dreaming can help reduce anxiety. Studies are showing that lucid dreaming may reduce symptoms of anxiety or post-traumatic stress disorder because during lucid dreaming a person can review situations with some degree of control. Thus, the person can learn to calm themselves in the face of situations that would normally cause them stress in the real world. If this resonates with you, here are some steps to become a non not. Try to get 7 to 8 hours of sleep during the night. This helps your body to settle down and give itself the space for the lucid dreaming to flow in. Keeping a dream journal is a must and writing down what you can recall from your sleep should be the first thing when you wake up. This exercise is key because when you start to write down and evoke, even if it's just a dream, more details of that dream or memories of other dreams you have had during the night may start to come out. Do reality checks. Several times during the day, ask yourself if you're dreaming. This is also key because when you find yourself in the dream space, you are going to ask yourself that question again. Meditation and or breathing exercises. Both practices help lay the foundation for lucid dreaming because they involve higher status of consciousness, up to the gamma or 40 hertz band, 
which facilitates mental concentration as well as self-awareness. Self-program yourself. There are people who don't need to set up an alarm clock to get up. They just tell themselves to get up and at a specific time and they usually wake up five minutes before the scheduled time. Well, the same is true for lucid dreaming. Finally, do not be afraid to find yourself consciously within the realm of dreams. Lucidity during sleep is a positive and powerful tool for your personal development. There is only one requirement for lucid dreaming, to realize that you are dreaming. Of course, this is easier said than, said than done. However, learning how to lucid dream is like any other skill you choose to learn. It takes time, discipline, adjustments to your lifestyle and sleep style, and yes, perseverance. Some people can have their first lucid dream on their first try, while others will need weeks and sometimes even a few months before reaching consciousness in the dream realm. But do not be discouraged, it will happen. In the content box of this video, I leave the link to the full article where you will find the steps, strategies, and useful tips for lucid dreaming. If you like this video, please click on the like icon. Remember to subscribe on the red button and activate the little bell to receive notifications every time there is something new to learn in nature's way in the art to heal yourself. See you soon!